Hey everyone, it's Chad, and today I'm going to be doing some upgrades to my Langmeyer Pro. Uh, there's a couple of things that I started off with. Uh, one of them is I used water with borax at a 9% uh, pH to prevent rust from growing in the water table. I haven't found that to be an ideal solution. There's one other upgrade I'm going to try to make today, and that is to put some dimples into the water table so that when I do drain it, it's going to be a lot easier. It's going to drain completely. When it comes from Langmire, it's got a pretty much a flat, uh, a flat table, and you'll see that here soon. And when you try to drain it, it's going to leave some water in there. So we're going to drain it, take it apart, clean it up, uh, put the dimples in, put the drain back together, and fill it with a new product that I'm using that should not have some of the same issues that I'm dealing with uh, with the P, with the uh, Borax solution. And I'm gonna bring it up close so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so here's an up close of the blades. And if you look here, you can see the Borax is starting to crystallize on these. And the other thing is that as it's crystallizing, the pH is probably getting a little bit lower or you know, uh, becoming more acidic or closer to a bit, uh, neutral. And <clears throat> now I'm starting to see a little bit of rust. Now down here in the water where, uh, let's see, I got a few things that have fallen down in. You can see that it's not really rusting. Uh, there might be a little bit, but it's, it's not terrible. There's a little bit of uh, buildup on the bottom of this. And the product that I'm going to use, it's, a, it's a, a green product, a plasma green product, and it's not supposed to allow that to occur. There's a couple of other issues I want to show you uh, as well. All right, so if you look here, uh, I'm getting splash from this and the borax is building up here. Uh, it's getting on this and also down here on my consumables. And I think it's actually putting a little bit of wear and tear on my consumables. So I'd like to limit that uh, as much as possible. And with the new product that I'm using, that shouldn't be an issue. All right, so the Langmar table has two sides. And I just noticed as I'm, eh, it's not a big deal, but there's some borax buildup on this. As I was saying, the Langmark table has two sides. It comes shipped as a two-part water table. And I mean, I've got to bring the two sides. All right, so here's the issue and the reason why I haven't drained it. Um, there's still about a half inch of water in here. And that's because this drain sits higher than the table. And one of the things that I want to do today while I clean this up is to put a dimple in here. And with that dimple, it should drop this brass down much lower so there's not as much water left, which, you know, it's just one more thing I've got to contend with as I'm cleaning up. All right, I guess I get some rags and start emptying out the rest of the water and cleaning up all that residue.
six and a half hours later. Well, 